Well, since Israel declared war against Hamas eight days ago, top leaders of the Jewish state have given very few interviews until now. Ron Dermer, Israel's Minister of Strategic Affairs and a member of its new war council, spoke to Nora O'Donnell in Tel Aviv about who he thinks was really behind the deadliest attack in Israel's 75-year history. When Israel loses 1,300, when 1,300 people are murdered, that's like 50,000 Americans being murdered on a single day. Today, with the numbers we see, it's 2911s. And we're not dealing with a terrorist organization thousands of miles away, like you did after 9-11. We're dealing with a terrorist organization in our backyard, literally meters away from people's homes. You've talked about the comparisons to 9-11. We knew that Osama bin Laden was the mastermind. Do you know who the mastermind is? Sure. It's Sinwar and Def. There are two people in Gaza. They're the ones who are responsible specifically for this attack. But they are backed again by Iran. They are backed financially. They are backed with weapons. They are backed with training, with logistics, with communication, with political support. Iran is the source of so many of the problems of the Middle East. The U.S. says that has no evidence that Iran was behind this specific attack. Does the Israeli government know that Iran was behind this attack? There's a question of whether Iran knew about the timing of this specific attack. But Iran is behind Hamas. Hamas, 93% of their military budget is Iran. They have meetings all the time, Iran and Hamas. So whether they knew that the attack was gonna happen on this day, or three days later, or a week later, or two weeks later, that's a separate question. Without Iran, this attack cannot happen. That I can assure you. Is an attack against Iran under consideration? Iran is a country that works every single day for Israel's destruction. And in trying to develop the means, nuclear weapons, to achieve that goal. So we will do whatever we have to do to defend ourselves, to prevent such a regime who denies the first Holocaust and would like to perpetrate a second one to deny such a regime from developing nuclear weapons. When asked about the safety of Gaza's two million residents, Minister Dermer blamed Hamas for any civilian casualties. Today, officials in Gaza say more than 2,400 people have been killed, more than 600 of them children, since Israel's assaults began. In Israel, at least 1,400 people have been killed in the Hamas attack. 